Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of finding volume. This is standard 5.6b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 3 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Emily has a box shaped like a rectangular prism full of sugar cubes. And each sugar cube has a volume of one cubic centimeter. So volume, starting in fifth grade and above, does not always simply refer to how loud your headphones are or how loud the TV is. We're looking at the space inside of a three-dimensional object. So this rectangular prism, we're going to fill it with little cubes and to see how many cubes it takes to fill up that is a measurement that we can find called volume, just like when we find area. Area is the amount of squares that we can put inside of a two-dimensional shape. So all we have are these two bullet points, but that's going to get us more than we need here. So how do we find volume? Well, volume if you look on your mathematics chart, it's gonna, you're going to get two different formulas here. So first you might see L times W times H. So this is length times width times height. So you just find all three measurements, length, width, and height, and you multiply those three. And you can also do this. You can also see BH. Now, the fact that uh, this height is a capital H and the one below is a lowercase h, doesn't really matter. You'll see either one. So this height is the same as that height. So this base is, you're really looking at the area, because there is a connection there between area and volume. You're going to find the area of that bottom layer, and then you're going to multiply that by the height. Well, how do you find the area of the bottom layer of a rectangular prism? Well, you multiply the length times width. So there is that connection. So either way, whether you're going to call it base times height, whether you're going to uh, call it length times width times height, you're going to have to multiply those three things. And so let's see what we have here. It says that the top layer has a width of sixth. Okay, so we're going to put that right here. And a length of 11. So they're going to give that to us. We could also count that if we really wanted to. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that, there's your 6, and then 11 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So if we wanted to do length times width times height, so we would do the length is 11 times 6 times height. So, so far what we have here is we've got 66 times whatever the height is. Now this is where we have to have the information even though visually we could see that top layer, we could call this the base if we really wanted to. It doesn't matter if it's on the top or the bottom. It's just the area of a layer. What we don't have are how many layers there are. Because you notice this height right here is missing visually. Now what they're going to give us is they're going to give us the answer right there. They're going to say there are three layers of sugar cubes. So if we wanted to try to draw it, we could, we could try to draw it like this and we could we could say there's my three layers but you notice if I were to try to draw the whole thing it would just it first off it just wouldn't look very good because you're 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 gonna obviously mess it up and you're gonna miss some cubes but then you're not seeing everything there's a whole bunch of cubes even if you were to draw like this there would be a whole bunch of cubes that are kind of hidden in the back here that you wouldn't be able to see that's why you need just simply to multiply the three different measurements so my height is going to be the 3, so I'm just going to say 66 times 3. I've got three different layers, so let's just do that right here. That's going to be 6 times 3. It's going to be 18. That's another 18, and that one is 19. So my volume is going to be 198, and then you can write it two different ways. You can say cubic cm. Or you could say cm with a little 3. That also means cubic centimeters. Either way, your answer is A.